Welcome back to my channel. Listen, there's some pretty decent news coming out of the Ryan Edwards McKenzie Standifer legal situation. Just to refresh your memory a little bit, Ryan had been charged with harassing McKenzie, stalking, all sorts of things based on his social media harassment of her and in real life threatening of her as well, right? And so in some semi good news here, he had pled guilty, according to the Ashley's Reality Roundup, to harassing Mackenzie, and um, he has to suffer some consequences based off of that. So I'm quite happy about it, okay? So let me pull up the article. Once again, this is coming from our friends over at the Ashley's Reality Roundup.com. Uh, let's get into it, okay? So as one of the consequences, Ryan Edwards has to go and complete a rehab stint yet again. I feel like this is the third or fourth time that he's had to do rehab. I know that he's been sentenced at least once or twice that we know of. Then his ex-girlfriend Dallas had kind of spilt the tea that he had been in rehab like in the early days of Teen Mom before we even knew that he was suffering from substance abuse issues, right? And so the Ashley said that this past Wednesday, he had an emergency call court hearing. Mackenzie, she was over there. She bravely testified about the harassment that she had been dealing with from Ryan over the months, over the years, potentially. And he obviously had violated the protective order and whatnot. And so the judge had decided to issue like a probation and whatnot for him. Okay. Mind you, like I said, this is the same judge that he has been sitting up in front of for ages at this point. This is a judge that is friends with his family and Ryan is friends with the judge's kids. So this is why yet again, it seems like he is getting off a little bit leniently. You know, I, I don't think it's really all that worth celebrating this sentence because it's another slap on the wrist. He pled guilty to the charges of harassment. He does have to wear a GPS monitor that, that notifies Mackenzie whenever he is nearby, which to me sounds a little scary. I don't know. Like I feel, I feel, I feel stressed out by the idea of getting notifications about where my stock Stalker, like, you know, psycho X is, right? And he is banned from contacting McKenzie, which he already was banned from. And he kept on violating that order. And look what's happening, like just another slap on the wrist. So what is the true incentive here? This time, though, he's not allowed to make any social media posts about McKenzie. Remember, in the last video that I did about Ryan, he was yet again calling her all sorts of derogatory sexist terms. And he claimed that she was lazy. She couldn't take care of her responsibilities, meaning their two kids and whatnot. Like the audacity was so damn strong with him. So I'm glad that now like this is really being defined in there as part of a legal sort of agreement with him because it's incredibly unacceptable that he has been allowed to go ahead and speak this way about her, right? Especially with like all the stalking charges and whatnot. So the judge also ordered Ryan to go to inpatient rehab because again, as usual, he was caught with drugs and drug paraphernalia. So he obviously has a problem that needs to be kind of handled here. But I don't know how long he will have to serve in rehab. The last time he served, he left early. I think he did like two and a half weeks instead of the full four weeks of the program. So I do worry that that's something that is going to happen again for him. I, I'm really not loving that. Um, he uh, has the option of having his time reduced for good behavior after six months. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I believe that it's going to be difficult for him to behave well for six months. So I think that that is that's going to be a challenge for him. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of ramifications he faces, if any, when, I don't even want to say if, but when he breaks that uh, behavior, behavioral, behavioral code, right? Because he will. His stalking charge, by the way, was dismissed and in addition to his charge of violating McKenzie's protective order. So this is what I mean when the judge keeps giving, when I say that the judge keeps giving him a slap on the wrist. I feel like these were the more serious charges and they dismissed them in favor of only punishing him for the lesser charges. Like it's huge that he had a stalking charge, right? It was huge that he had violated a protective order against his stalking victim. So for them to dismiss that and then only like, let him plead guilty, have him plead guilty or whatever for harassment. Oh, come on now, you know, come on. Absolutely ridiculous. And it's just so sad and scary how little care stalking victims get in the legal system.
And again, it's really worrisome and troublesome to me how this man keeps on facing the same judge that is familiar with himself and with his family and is friendly with all of them. Like, it's just, it, it seems very, very highly unethical, but I digress. According to the Ashley's Reality Roundup, Ryan has to be back in court on April 20th for a new hearing regarding the harassment and drug possession charges. So we're going to see how that rolls out. I'm going to post a link to this article that the Ashley has in the description box of my video here. So make sure to keep an eye out for that if you want to go ahead to her website and read it for yourself. How do you feel about this? Are you kind of the same as me where you're like, why are the higher and the stronger charges being dismissed here in favor of him only facing harassment? I, I feel like the, the, the stalking charge should have stuck. I feel like him violating the protective order that his stalking victim, alleged stalking victim, since I have to say, had out against him should have stuck and should have been taken more seriously. Either he's got a strong lawyer or again, like I think is more likely there is a conflict of interest here and he is being very heavily protected, which is a shame because it's not Ryan that needs to be protected. It's Mackenzie at the end of the day who needs to be protected for this, right? So um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And by the way, y'all, why y'all think about my new setup? Because I, you guys know, like for a little while I was filming the front entrance of my apartment. It's so hard to find a space like in these little apartments. It's like 350 square feet, which like by Parisian standards is pretty big. So I'm like, girls, why don't I just film in my kitchen? I'm on my kitchen island and then just have a cute little like nook in the background. Are you feeling this a little bit more? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.